All right, guys, so I thought I'd show you how you could make a few logos in Illustrator and then um, bring them into Flash and animate them. So we'll make a new web document. Just leave it the default settings. Had this idea that we'd have a couple mountains and then a stream and maybe the words nature parks underneath. So I'm just going to grab the pen tool and start to draw some mountains. Okay, and... I want to make sure that the strokes turned off. Oh, sorry, the strokes on, but the fill is off. So I'm going to turn off the fill. Um, I'd like my mountains to be brown as well. So I'll draw another mountain in the background. Something like that. Okay, and I'll grab the pen tool. Grab the pen tool, and I'll draw a bit of a string. move that into place. I'm using the arrow keys at the moment. I'll choose a nice dark blue. I think I had one over in this color palette. Yep, there we go. Grab that. There's my stream. Um, I just want to write the words nature parks underneath. I just want to write the words nature parks underneath. Oops. And maybe change the font to my maybe. And let's see, let's 60. It's a little bit big, I'll just squash that down. And then I'd like to for a bit of a bit in the sky. Um, just going to make sure that's a stroke. And I was thinking it could be green. Alright, so there's my basic logo. I'll just play with that a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to copy this now. Control C. Copy all these elements over and move over to Flash make a new flash document and I'll paste those elements in, click OK so that's nice, it comes over from Illustrator quite nicely I'm going to break these objects apart so I can use them in flash so I can go to modify, break apart and I'd also like to put them all on their own layer so the shortcut is command shift D and that'll distribute all your layers distribute all your objects onto an individual layer or you can go in here timeline distribute to layers okay so my idea is that the mountains will appear and then we'll have the stream come in um, nature parks wording will come up and then we'll put this horizon green line across the top that'll come in at last so let's see what we need to do is drag our hills so we've got to find those they're down the bottom, yep, okay, great, so we've got the two hills down the bottom. They can stay there, and all the ele other elements, we'll just pull them along. Give ourselves a little bit of time. So I'll go out to about 110, insert some frames. And we'll look at first making the stream come in. So this one I'm going to use a shape join, something nice and easy. So I'd like it to come in on about 50, I'll insert a keyframe there and then initially I want it to start nice and squashed so I'll go to the free transform tool and I'll just squash this up and then right click between the two and make a shape, shape tween so that's animating in like so okay grab these guys move them down a bit next I'd like the text to animate in. So I'm thinking that this could just simply fade, fade in. So I'll go over to oops, modify and convert to symbol or F8 and I'll call this text. Oops. And nice simple animation. I'm thinking that it can start off. Just click on my symbol. Start off alpha zero and animating 
Let's right click and insert keyframe. Go to the properties inspector, make sure we click on our symbol, go to the properties inspector and turn the alpha up to 100%. Right click between the two and make a classic tween. So that's good. And last, I'd like um, this bit of horizon graphic to come in. For this piece, I'm just going to zoom in. I'm thinking that I'd like it to come in bit by bit, little by little, maybe from this way going in. So I'm just going to go and insert a keyframe for each of these and just take off a little bit. So this can be quite repetitive to do. So I might just stop the video now and I'll come back. All right guys, so I'm almost done. Just a little bit more, insert keyframe, or more. And here's a little trick. So I'm gonna, at the moment, if we were to play this, we'd see that well, we need our stream to come in a little bit longer, so I'll right click, insert frame, oops, insert frame, and we'd also like our text to be displayed on the screen, so I'll zoom out. If we see our logo coming in now, stream comes in, nature parks appears, and oh, our horizon comes in, but it goes backwards, so we can just select all of these frames right click and go down here to reverse frames Bam. now we should see that our horizon grows across the sky okay one last thing that we want to do is just go to the end once our logo is fully come in we just add a little bit of action script so if we go window actions and then just stop If you're just thinking, um, then that will stop our insert some actions and that will just stop our timeline from playing. So if we hit control enter or go to control test movie, and we should see our little animation play. Should should last about three seconds. There are heels. Stream comes in and then okay, so I think the start's probably a bit long. So I'll just remove those frames and control enter again. It looks better. Okay, there you go. Thanks guys, bye.